A woman who was told she would never walk again is defying her diagnosis and walking independently thanks to a robotic suit. Sophie Morgan was paralysed from the chest down in a car crash ten years ago. Now, after helping her, the robot designer believes they could be used for rehabilitation and for anyone with a mobility issue. Here's Sally Biddulph. Sophie Morgan is on her feet again after a decade in a wheelchair. Paralysed by a car accident when she was 18, she's standing and walking with the help of an incredible machine. Now that the exoskeleton is, is, is here and I'm able to actually use it and benefit from it, I'm, I'm having to learn everything again, you know, what it's like to stand up again and reimagine my life and myself in, in a standing position and a walking position. It's, it's quite overwhelming. For now, Sophie spends about half an hour a day in the robotic harness, but that will increase. Aside from walking, the health benefits are many. Her organs get more space and she can stretch out muscles and ligaments. She's excited about what this new technology means for her future. In time, like all technology, it will get smaller and lighter and faster and all the things that you see other technologies, how, how, how it evolves, that, that will happen with, with the exoskeleton. So in time, I suppose, you know, the dream would be to have the exoskeleton on under my jeans and, and I would not need a wheelchair and I would be able to walk around and, you know, who, who knows that for how far away that is. The robotic walker is based on the anatomy of the leg, but with an awful lot of technical wizardry from the engineers who made it. How does it work? There's uh, 29 computers on board, there's 10 motors driving all of the joints, and it, essentially it's a set of legs that sit outside the user's legs, and the motors are replacing their muscles, the, the, the wires are replacing their nerves, and um, all those computers are replacing their brain. At home, Sophie has a newfound freedom able to do simple things we take for granted, like putting things in the fridge. She also brings a whole new meaning to doing the robot. Sally Bidolf, ITV News.